just about, I think, to win the, 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 the uh, weight match. So every time we move it, we reset it. I can't praise this book too highly, not just from a children's literature point of view, but from the project that it, it springs from. If you're aware of it, about two or three years ago, the Oxford Junior Dictionary took out words like Blackberry and put in the word Blackberry with a capital B. It took out Brook, because we don't need a Brook. It took out Kingfisher, despite the fact that we have a school in Oxfordshire called Kingfisher and another one uh, at a Boundary Brook. But we, we are losing these words and rather than just fulminate about it, what uh, Jackie Morris and Robert McFarlane did was they created a book to inspire love of these words. We're now standing under a great tree. Uh, if you want to read Peter Fiennes' book Oak and Ash and Thorn, uh, it, it, it goes on about how this has become the iconic tree of England. But what I'm going to do is just read you the poem Acorn. I'm not going to read it like this because it's very bad at nursery practice to read a book upside down like this, but also because um, I can't see the words as well as I might do. It's an acrostic poem, which is kind of money for jam for those that have taught in primary school. It's a kind of standard stock in trade, how do we write a poem stuff, and we could go a lot further than this. But these iconic pictures, these are drawn from the Byzantine style with the gold background that is you know, the eternal sunrise of the resurrection. I think it's a beautiful book in lots and lots of ways. Here's Rob McFarlane on Acorn. As flake is to blizzard, as curve is to sphere, as knot is to net, as one is to many, as coin is to money, as bird is to flock, as rock <coughs> is to mountain, as drop is to fountain, as spring is to river, as glint is to glitter, as near is to far, as wind is to weather, as feather is to flight, as light is to star, as kindness is to good, so acorn is to wood. <laughs> one of those acrostic poems that doesn't feel like a cheap trick. Mm. And I think that, that's, that's well worth our looking at. This is also, for those of you that don't know, this is where one of the sites that we use uh, for the outdoor learning module, which at present sits at level five, is just about to move to level four in the undergraduate program. But level five is possibly something we need to develop, something we might think of. Where else might we go with this? Where as a faculty might we go to talk about trees and well-being springing from the conference that we have? talking about the notion of environmental awareness, talking about what do we want to stand for, and also while we've got it, why not say something beautiful about a beautiful part of the campus? So here we have where we would go in there, where I would feed my students slows, just to make sure that they know not to eat any fruit that they, that they, that they come across, <laughs> and where we play hide and seek and all sorts of other things. But I'm now gonna hand back to Tristan, who's found a gem for us here.